there's an old saying that 90% of directing is casting. Right. So if you cast someone that you believe can do the role, get out of their way. Basically, don't over-direct. Trust your actor. And if you've done your homework as the director, you can tell whether they're going off into a direction that's not helpful to the story. But basically, you know, I know this is true with Sidney Lumet, I know it's true with Clint Eastwood, I know it's true with Woody Allen. They don't say very much. Only when, only what's needed. You know, uh, well, I remember when I was doing a musical on Broadway called The Robber Bridegroom, I had a scene in it where the audience used to like me very much. And I fell in love with their liking me. And the director came back and I'd been running in it for about six months and he said, Larry, you know, you're the dark color in the show. <laughs> And that's all he said. And I immediately stopped being seductive with the audience and stopped trying to get them to like me because I fell in love with that attention. But he just said one sentence, Gerald Friedman. He said, don't forget, you're the dark color in the show. That a good actors, they don't need a lot. Well, and bad actors will only get worse if you say, just be angry. If you say to the actor, get him or her angry, provoke them. In that provoking them, you're going to have to be aggressive. So you say to the actor who's not operating well, what are you trying to get the other person to feel or do, which I talked about before, what are you trying to get them to feel or do? Put your shoulder behind that. And suddenly that bad actor or actress may suddenly find something amazing. You know, it's the, it's, the, it's the director's job to inspire the actor to a better performance if the actor or actress doesn't know how to get there. And if you have a bad director, actors, and you're not good, you're in big goddamn trouble. Right. You're in big, big, big trouble. That's why studying is so important.